Hello, you fellow engineers, and welcome back to Hydroneer, and welcome to my automated mine. Now, this thing runs on lava, so we suck it up here, it goes along the pipes, and then it powers these machines. This one digs into the ground, and you'll see every so often, little bits of snow comes out, because that's what the ground's made of here. Then that snow drops to the harvester below, which turns it into resources. Now, this is good, but it could be slightly quicker. If you remember up here, I do actually have one of one of these things. So if I open this up, I can put a shard in there. You see down here we have three shards. In fact, let's not just shove a shard. Let's put all these into this pan. Ooh, and check down here. Yes, we have another shard in there. Thank you. And then we'll take this pan. And then if we pour this into this crucible, that has now smelted. So then I can take that and pour it into there where we've made a little bar. So we can take this little bar. We can then shove it in there. I said we can shove it in there and then close the hatch. And then this sort of powers this. So it should all run a little bit faster. So hopefully we should notice the snow coming out a little bit quicker. Are you lying to me right now? Uh, not not gonna lie. I'm not sure that did actually make it any quicker. I mean, it might be. It might be quicker. But nice. Next up, where I moved all my dirt. This is getting really, really annoying. Can I just dig this, like, into there? Oh, no. <laughs> I can, but I've clogged it up. Oh, dear. All right, put that back. Yeah, I think in order to get the, the snow from here into this machine, I gotta put it in a bucket first and then drop it in. You know what I say to that. Ain't nobody got time for that. So instead, I think I need I need a pickaxe basically to get rid of all this ground. Because whilst the shovel's good, you, it doesn't like destroy the ground. It only allows you to move it, which is great when you wanna make like half a bridge or then turn it into an engineering sculpture. Not so much when you actually want to like work here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to shove that down there. And then I'm going to pick out all the bits of iron and shove them in my pan like that. All right. And then when we've got most of the iron out, we can then grab this. And I'm going to turn this into an iron bar itself. So drop that in there. Thank goodness they all went in. Now I have another iron bar here as well. So I can shove that in the pot. That will also melt down. And then when we pour this out, oh yes, that is quite a big bar. Now I've got some scales over here. I'm trying to get a 30 weight bar. Oh, we've done it. We've done it. So if I grab this, shove it in the boot like that. There's also one of these hardstone blocks. So that also goes in the boot. And then we head on our way back to the town because we can build our own shops, if you remember. Now, thankfully, whilst I'm away, because we have set up automated mining, we're finally going to be making money all the time. So I should come back to a nice big pile of resources. And then I can, I can sell all those and hopefully make even more money. And then potentially continue automating. So we've arrived at this place. I think over this way was where we were building the, the store. Yeah, there it is. So this is going to be a tier one store. You can see I've already... Wait, I thought I already added a hardstone. Yeah, I have. Why is it not counted? Let me take it out. Let me put it back in again. Yeah, so that counts as a hardstone block. It weighs 10, so hence it's 10 out of 20. That's why I needed iron bar of at least 30. So hopefully if I add all these things to the box, then that should build... Do I press? I guess I got to press the button, right? So let's give it a press. Oh, oh, <laughs> whoa. Okay, so we now have a tier one store. Now, hopefully there's going to be a pickaxe here. If there isn't, I'm going to kick off. Oh, do we get our stuff back? Are we meant to get our stuff back? Anyway, so what do we have? We have, oh, we have more lava drills. Oh, item buffs. Speed bonus output size. Are they, do they apply to my other ones? I thought those other ones, I thought they were like skulls when I got those. Granted, I did buy them from a different store. That was up over this way. So yeah, the ones over here, which I can't buy more of. You can see the item buffs. They've all got skulls. Now, I did max out those ones, but it looks like I can buy more of them over here. But they're also potentially better as well. I'm not sure how that works. We'll have to see. Anyway, what do we have here? We have a rake. Oh, we have a pickaxe. Oh, finally. 122 quid. And then, oh, we also have... Ooh, some masterwork stuff. Oh, is this what you take? Yeah, place on the Volcalidus Peak Forge. And it tells you what you need. Oh, yeah. So do you remember we went up to the... Where's the volcano? We went up to the volcano last time. And we did see like a pedestal. I guess that's where we make all the masterwork stuff. Oh, I'll tell you what. Since I, I don't actually have any money on me. I remember I left a ring here, remember? Because I was waiting for the demand to go back up. I mean, it was... I think it was 85%. So that's more profit than it was. So let's do that. So we'll shove that in there. And then we will purchase 
Probably a dull pickaxe. And then I could get a better pickaxe. 230. Plus, I then need 80 iron. I'm also wondering about these, but they look like effort. I'll tell you what, I'll just buy the pickaxe for now. And oh, look, there's a smelter down here. 1300 quid. Are you having a laugh, mate? But I'm also going to head back over here because I believe there's like a like a sort of thing. Yeah, hand sorter. This does require a lava input, though. So I'll need... That's 165. I'm also going to need some extra pipes. I think I definitely need another T-junction. Oh, they're only 28. Oh, okay. Yeah, pipes aren't that expensive. Uh, I might buy an extra lava intake as well, just for like some of the items I don't need all the time. Like this hardstone refiner. That might be a good one to like connect separately. Oh, and do I get a magnet on a stick? No, it costs 400 quid. I cannot afford a magnet on a stick right now. Anyway, these are bought. So let's shove them in the back. All right, so then we'll drive back to the claim. Yes, I am still in my pants. All right, and then we're back. So I reckon this hand sorter. This, oh no, we've broken down. We've broken down oh poo i forgot about this okay so i'm gonna have to go buy some spanners so i can fix this all right so after another hard slog we're back with the spanners so i got a box of them so i can just click on that and then that is fixed that is now up and running again i will leave those there and um, but yeah i think i want to shove this sorter basically where this hole is so if I take my new pickaxe, I should be able to start getting rid of some of this dirt. Yes. And I don't have to lay it anywhere. Oh, I swear this was like something you used to start with in the in like the pre-DLC. I'm like four four hours in or something. And I've only just got to the point where I can actually make the land a little bit easier to work with. But yeah, if I actually start digging down here, then this is where I can put my sorter. I mean, actually, I'm going to dig out my pipes just so I can see them and access them. Should I need to maintain them or anything? All right, so nice. That's a bit of a hole dug. In hindsight, I probably should have taken more of this and then bought the magnet just so I could move all of it at once. Can I even place this on resources? I can. Okay, that's cool. So yeah, if I were to... Hang on, I don't, I don't really know how this works. I don't think I've ever used a hand one before. So if I just take, like, gold and then shove that on there... Oh, it probably has to be powered, doesn't it? Yeah, but I think gold will then come out of here and everything else comes out of that one. Oh, I just had... Oh, why haven't I been doing that? I just realized I should have put my pan under here. So all this stuff goes straight into my pan. Oh, I've been doing this so wrong. <laughs> or even straight into a crucible. Yeah, I'm I'm an idiot. I've just realized I'm a complete and utter idiot. Yeah, lion. Anyway, with that there, let's just melt like all the gold we have or at least collect it in the crucible. Oh, that's going to take so long. I should probably turn this off. Turn off. Yeah, right. I'm just going to melt enough gold that I can afford a magnet on a stick. And then once I have a magnet on a stick, I can then move all of this out the way. And then we can do this way more sensibly. I might even like buy some, buy some like foundation bits just so like we have a floor. It'll be a lot easier to work with. Okay, so we shove our crucible on there. That should melt quite nicely. There it goes. And then we can pour that into there. So we have a gold bar. Yeah, before I go, I am just going to set this up though. So this is my other lava inlet so if i shove that there add another bit of straight pipe then i can put that there and this is where i pour the the hard stone in so you can see i got a piece of hard stone. i probably need like some sort of step ladder to make this easier but i put that in there oh why didn't that work oh the the thing's down the side <laughs> okay rotate it so that the the lava inlet actually goes to the inlet and then oh can i stand on my scales to do this oh that's easy boosh and then that gets crunched when that reaches 10 weight we get one of those blocks and then we we spend the blocks on building the town making more shops you we also have this guy here now this is an ice melter so i think yeah that has a lava inlet and with this i think we're gonna have to melt ice so this other one this other drill that i've got we'd probably have to put that like above it so that the ice goes in there we won't get any resources out of this but we will get water and then when we have water, we can have conveyors, which means we can make this way more automated. Right, one other thing before we go. I want to head down here. So this is where I was digging before. And if I use this, I should be able to dig down a lot easier. Bear in mind, all this digging I did before, I had to take all the spills back up. That's what this mess was, the mess over there that I've like cleared already. But I want to see how deep this place is. Because the deeper we mine, the bigger the resources we get. So therefore, we get more value. Trouble is, digging down this deep, we will need those conveyors in order to, like, get everything back up. So we'll just dig ourselves a nice little area just so we can see what the floor's doing. I think it's leveled out here. 
Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going any flatter. So we could dig down here. I'm not really sure it's worth doing though. I think we're better off going to like another claim. So yeah, right. As before, we'll leave this running and then we'll head back to the shop with our gold in hand. Realize we can't sell our gold bar here. Oh, that's so annoying. So we'll drive all the way to the other place. Anyway, we're back to the starting town. Oh, this has a oh, this has a stock market I can sell my sword at, finally. So shove my dagger on there, 317 quid. Probably not worth waiting for, but we have that now. And then our gold bar, we can sell at this guy, the jeweler. He'll buy anything. All right, and then we have a fat pile of stonks, which means we can buy a magnet on a stick. All right, so I also went back to Bubble Town again because I had some leftover money. So it means I can if I wanted to. I could start work on a jeweler, which means I'll never have to go to that normal town again. I can just come over to here. So that could be useful. At the same time, though, I'm intrigued by this. So that will allow me to get a boat ticket. So yeah, that's bought. Let's go shove it. Yeah, we can put it on there. So then for this, we need 180 weight of hardstone blocks. So that's 18 of them. And then a 200 iron bar. Oh, no, Cloutium bar. I don't think I found any Cloutium yet. But then we can presumably buy a ticket and then go to that island that we had to get a boat to. So in the meantime, back to the claim. And then we can use our magnet on a stick to tidy this place up. So first off, oh, that's a big pile. <laughs> that is a big pile. Let's just turn that off. So I think before we do anything, let's just get this sorter up and running. So yes, we want one there, but maybe it's worth doing the one that's going to go like next to it first. So what way do these face? We've got lava coming in. So lava can only come in like a side. Yeah, it's going to have to come in that side, which means I need to dig down here to put the gold and then in front. Okay, so we got to go in front. So if I just dig a hole down here. All right, so we're down to that level. We're going to have to go... a step lower though. Right, so then this goes, oh my goodness, all the way up to there, which means out in front of it is where I'm going to want like a bucket or something just to catch, at least until we get another sorter. And then out this side is where I want a smelter. So I'm going to dig like a staircase down, I think, because smelters need to go like under the ground because the crucible goes on top. We're going to have to dig a hole for that as well. Blooming out so much digging. Okay, so I got the smelter out the back. So this should go, yeah, down there. Nice. Then crucible on top. Yeah, I thought I'd drop that from too high. That's not accurate. Okay, that's good. Now we just need to plug this thing in. So with those pipes I bought earlier, let's take a T-junction. We can then replace that bit. So that lava as well as going to our harvester now comes around this side. All right, nice. Then these can come across to this point. And then, oh man, I'm running out of pipe. I hope I got enough for this. Oh no, I actually don't have another, I don't have another bend. I'll tell you what though, I could just use this T-pipe instead. So yes, some lava will leak out the bottom, but what's the worst that can happen? So yeah, we do that. So that should get lava in it. Let's just close up this end. So shut that. Now this should be running. So if I grab gold and place it on there. Oh, I need my bucket for down that end. Hang on. Pan is not the flattest thing. So I will just dig a hole there. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that's my that's my tunnel underneath. Yeah, look, if we head down to my tunnel, I've just ruptured the ceiling. That's going to fill up with all the resources. I can't have that. Where's my spade? Fill that back in. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe that. By the way, there's me saying I was going to get a floor, like foundation pieces. Yeah, that, that didn't happen, did it? Right, okay, so that might be better. Now, I don't know how this works. If I just shove like a bit of gold in the top. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Does that... Yes, it came out that side, but it overshot. I'm pretty sure it went underneath. Great. And then if I put a piece of iron in like that, that should come out that side. Okay, good. That's really good. So what I want to do, I want to grab a magnet on a stick. That's going to allow me to pick up all of these. And then I can shove them through there. Oh my goodness. I'm not sure this was a good idea. Right, come on. Magnet on a stick. There you go. Just get it to there. Then drop. So, oh. <laughs> so much stuff came out. But yeah, just keep going through it a few times. And I think we're sort of getting there, actually. Yeah, because this isn't picking stuff up out of the bucket. I think once it's in the bucket, it's, it's like sort of, it's safe from my magnet stick. And by the way, don't ask how gold is magnetic. It just is, okay? But yeah, drop that down a few more times. Then we just pick up the gold that didn't make it. To be honest, just smelt that straight away. No point sorting. All right, and then that's everything sort of sorted. And so my plan to like sort of automate this, by the way, <laughs> you can see the hole that the dripping lava's doing. 
Okay. Oh, there's actually... Oh, there's loads of resources down there as well. That's going to keep getting lower and lower. Oh, well. Nothing I can do to fix that until I go to the shop and buy a corner piece. I'm not doing that at the moment. But yeah, we now have this, which is full of gold. So this should be a big gold bar, right? If I pour that in there and then go weigh this. Oh, it weighs 54. So I can either sell that for a lot of money or up over here... You can see I, I bought a few more notice boards just to just to put all my quests about. So we got quite a lot of weight gold bars. 43.5. There's one over there for 45 as well. They give me the scout tokens, which I can spend on stuff. So that's good. So we could complete one or two of those now with our with our bar. But yeah, the other thing I need to do, I need to sort like all of this stuff. So if I swap that, if I take the gold out, put it up there, and then take a piece of like iron. Shove the iron on that bit there. Then I can pour this in and the iron should come out there. So we got that there. I should pick this up. And then to be honest, before I pour that, I sort of need another pan, which I don't have. But I could try and wedge this down this side. Yeah, that might actually work. So now when I pour this in there. Oh, this could end so badly. So click. Oh, no. <laughs> they all missed. Still, that's fine. That's why we have the magnet on a stick. Right, anyway, slowly put those in. Right, that's better. We got iron down this side now. So yeah, we just do this a few times until it's all sorted. <laughs> oh, this is going to take so long. This is such a dumb system. And right, then grab all the ones out the holes that I can. <laughs> oh no, because these aren't in a bucket because they're in a crucible. They do all stick to my magnet. Oh no. Oh, nightmare. Okay, I definitely need another pan under there, not a crucible. Still, we then have big old iron bar. Again, 50 weight. Decent, that. I can either make, like, swords and jewelry and stuff, or I can just sell them as bars. Uh, and the final thing I want to sort... This seems a bit wrong, but I'm going to shove a pan in there. Because then I'm going to shove the hardstone on top. And then I'll try and sort all of that. So as hardstone goes in there, it should go into that pan. And yeah, then my magnet doesn't take it out of there. All right, and then this pan of hardstone, I can come over to this drop it in there and then yes that has made me some hardstone blocks so i can add them to my truck as long as they stay in the back and then we can go build the the ticket shop uh, but what i want to try and do get a little bit of money and then set up my other sorter down here so if it's that level then we should be able to automate the mine again so stuff coming out of there should go there did i actually do that too far forwards oh i did oh it should be there so yeah, the way I hope this works is as I sort stuff out, everything that doesn't get sorted goes to the one below where that gets sorted. And then we just keep stepping down until we've sorted everything. Sorting with gravity with Matt. Yeah, and I'm hoping because I won't be using the magnet stick because it will be sorting everything as it gets made. It should work a lot better. It shouldn't be as messy. So nice. I'm going to try and set all this up then. And then uh, I guess we can go see how that works. And we'll probably do that next time. So for now, guys, I'll say peace, love, and nearly an automated sorting machine that will make me lots of money. Bye.